Hello beautiful souls and welcome to the unboxing. I have been waiting to share with you this year. I am super excited for today's video because today we are unboxing the Ocean Dreams Oracle by Danielle Knoll, who you know is my favourite artist and I just love her work, love her decks. So let the magic begin. <music> my unopened package. I pre-ordered this from Stacy at Girl Love Luna and as you can see she has done some absolutely beautiful packaging. She's including a nice bit of incense so let's dive in. I'm really excited to see this deck. I think I pre-ordered it maybe four or five months ago, could be longer. And honestly, I've been just, just waiting and seeing all the posts that Danielle has put up with all the information and the new bits and I'm like, I can't wait to see it. So let's take a look. <gasps> Here she is, and we are so matchy matchy. Oh, yes. <laughs> so, the first thing I'm noticing, which I really like, is there's no plastic around it, there's no shrink wrap. It's just in the box and I like that because you guys know obviously it's always good when, especially when you're ordering lots of stuff if there's as little waste as possible and I can obviously recycle or dissolve the squishies that Stacey's included so actually everything in this box can be reused or recycled which is exciting. So here we have the beautiful box. I will obviously do loads of close-ups for you guys. You can check out the timestamps below of all the information. You guys know that I always include a reading as well when I do an unboxing but I'm so excited. I just want to get into it so <laughs> so it says ocean dreams a mystic oracle danielle knoll on the front on the back we have a couple of examples of some of the cards in the deck and this gorgeous almost doorway portal with this being here and it says the ocean dreams oracle is a sacred call to awaken the ancient wisdom of your oceanic heart imbued with healing waters and activating portals the 64 cards wow that's quite a lot and included guidebook are soulfully designed to nurture your daily reflections and inner whispers. Exciting! And then it's got this gorgeous ocean palace, if you like, which is one of the reasons I backed this deck. So I was like, I firstly love anything to do with water. And secondly, I just love the vibe here just feels like home. Can't really explain it any better than that. So let's dive inside. Let's take a look inside the box. Let me know what you guys think so far. Ooh, oh, look at how it opens. I love that. I love that. Completely different to all of the rest of her decks, but very similar to the Gentle Heart Tarot and Pastoral Journey Tarot. Okay, so inside it says, eternal beloved bless your oceanic heart and then we have the guidebook on the top i mean this every single portion of this has clearly been really carefully thought through because just the vibe is delicious i could happily dive into that water right now how nice would that be so let's take out guidebook which is actually i would say a tiny bit thinner but then there's fewer cards than a regular tarot deck so a tiny bit thinner than her other tarot deck the moon child i can talk to by comparison and then just at the bottom it says I am transformative, I am expansive, I am infinite, I am deep, I am intuitive, I am creative, I am a vessel of magic. Isn't that lovely? I really like that. So gorgeous box. I will say as well, the box is really matte, so it feels really smooth, it feels really nice in your hand. Possibly will mean it will get a little bit dirtier, a little bit more easily, because it doesn't have that kind of plasticky coating which can protect it a bit more. But I'm pretty particular about looking after my decks and I'm really careful about where I put them and I always wipe a table or whatever before I put them down. So. <laughs> This will be fine, I'm sure it'll be absolutely fine, but it feels delightful. So let's have a little look through the guidebook, which says Ocean Dreams, a mystic oracle, and it's got this pinky vibe going on here with a moon and a star, loads of little gold foiling stars, and then on the back it has a person holding a shell, pouring water to dolphins below. Oh, I love this already. And it's got loads of temples and rainbow. This feels like it's going to have such a beautiful guide. Guide? Energy. <laughs> Maybe there is a guide. I don't know who she worked with to, to create this. Oh, I'm loving what I'm seeing already. So the guidebook has the card index, introduction, how to use the deck, oracle spreads, ritual work, card messages, thanks about Danielle, other works. So that is all the information there. Once again, the guidebook is completely in color. This is something that we've seen quite a few times with Danielle. She's really good at doing that and oh, I just I'm loving this already I love the watery connections seeing all the shells and the shimmering waters it's just making me feel good <laughs> this might become my favorite oracle deck obviously my favorite tarot deck 
that's really hard to choose. I mean, I would say possibly the Moonchild Tarot, but I do really like working with some of the other decks. I, I mean, this, oh yeah, anyway, let's not talk about that. Let's talk about how beautiful this deck is. So everything is just really smooth and really matte and just really beautifully put together. She's got affirmations. She's got questions you can ask yourself when you're picking the cards. I don't want to spoil too much. I really want to just actually go through the deck and I'm going to do a full flip through for you. That was hard to say. I will do a full flip through for you so you can enjoy that. And let's just talk about the deck then. So here is the deck, the only piece of plastic that we've seen, but obviously you need to hold them. I think a ribbon would be a good idea or didn't uh, Rebecca Campbell did a piece of paper. That was actually quite a good idea. So you're gonna immediately notice that the edges are not foiled, but they're almost painted or I suppose you can call it foiled on the edge in this almost turquoisey, tealy color, which is really nice. But that is really, really pretty. I really like that. I don't have any other deck that's got that color. It's usually a gold or a rose gold or a silver. So I am loving that. Although I would say it was iridescence for the pastel journey. So that was pretty cool, but this is lovely and it's matte as well. So it doesn't rub off. That's good. I like to check these things. Let's check the card stock whilst we're here. Yeah, no, no, not bad. That's pretty good. And I would say size wise, yeah, they seem like they're going to be okay for shuffling. I would say Danielle does tend to do quite large cards, but that's actually okay for shuffling. I think that'll be okay. And the cards are, again, this really soft matte quality, which is really nice. What's this? Oh, there's a little note card inside, which says, Dear Heart, I hope you find this deck to be a nurturing addition addition to your oracle collection and she's got a bit, a bit of a thank you there and on the back it's like this extra card of somebody swimming down with some porpoise or dolphins that's so pretty so that's something you can pop on your altar i'll do a close-up of that for you so the back of the cards is actually really simple and yet really detailed if you look closely so at a distance you'd say oh well it's just you know a seabed with beautiful shimmering water but actually if you get closer you can see the face of Hathor here and then you can almost see it's like a mirror image that she's done so again there's this quality of being a vessel like that almost looks like a diamond to me I really get like this mirror image vassal that is what's coming through in this so this is really interesting again like the the theme is really strong which I really like so I think shall we start by doing the full flip through shall we do that shall we go crazy and go through that okay let, let's do it you're persuading me <laughs> so let's start by having a full flip through it will not be in order because I will be shuffling this deck and working with it but you can enjoy watching the full flip through now
Oh, they're all so pretty. How could you possibly choose? Oh, there's another card. I didn't see that one, Mother Ocean. Another card which looks like almost a poem. It says, Mother Ocean, I open my heart to your deep mysteries and tender revelations. May I find soothing comfort in your waves and shores. May your waters help clear out any stagnant energies within my mind, body and spirit. Thank you for always guiding me towards calmer waters. Thank you for holding me in place when life feels overwhelming. May your waters anoint all that I do with your sacred wisdom. May I be blessed with healing, protection, endless love in return. And then the back of this card is gorgeous. It's like this portal to a mermaid place or something. How cool is that with all those shells and that doorway and then the moon? I think I, I like that back more. That's probably going to be the one that I pop on my altar. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what do you guys think of the deck? Let me know in the comments below. Do you have a favorite card? Do you like the energy that's coming through in these cards? They feel really like dreamy. It's so Pisces. <laughs> it's like the most Pisces deck I've ever seen in my life. And it just, I love it. I love it so much. It's just so dreamy, so watery, so soft, so feminine, and just super ethereal. Like if I was to talk about a soul plan energy, it would 100% be a 5-5, like 100%. Okay, so shall we pull some cards? Let's do a pick a card reading. I feel like this deck is just so insanely beautiful. We just need to work with it. We just need to use it. So I'm just going to quickly shuffle them off camera, tune into them and pull two cards from a pick a card reading. So you can just close your eyes and just tune in and just see what you most need to know in this now moment and just see what feels good for you when you open your eyes. Is it the card on the left, card one, or is it the card on the right, card two? Just tune in and see what feels the most aligned for you in this moment. Okay, if you chose card number one, then you chose the absolutely beautiful card of the unveiling. And as you can see here, there's some whales and there's a moon and the clouds and there's a tiny bit of a rainbow coming through there. Interestingly, I feel like firstly, there's an energy of abundance that's coming on here. So this card in the guidebook is talking about you unveiling your creativity. And I love that she's included four whale guardians if you like to come through and to support you as you move into a space of abundance with your creativity. So I think the question with this is what are you unveiling from within that you're ready to share with others or at least share outside of yourself right because maybe it's been bubbling away in the surface and it's ready to come out and it's like there's something there whether you've acknowledged it or not is, is the question because this is unveiling it it's, it's peeling back the layers it's removing the curtain so you can see straight to the core of something so there's obviously something that you are excited to bring forth to birth and it's like you, you have these whale guardians to help you so i feel like by the time that the next moon cycle happens you'll be able to tune into this a little bit more which actually works really nicely because it'll be a new moon in leo soon and obviously leo is a really creative energy so it might be a time with a new moon to actually work with it to set your intentions to really tune into this creative spark this idea this thing that's ready to be birthed if you like i think maybe go down to the water's edge for the new moon maybe connect with the ocean maybe call upon the whale energy and the whale guardians and do some meditations with them to ask them to support you as you bring this forth uh, because something really exciting is about to be revealed and I keep wanting to touch this part of my body so I just feel like something is being removed and cleared out of that heart chakra area to create space for you to share something that's completely divine, completely full of unconditional love and compassion and joy. So I'm really excited. Let me know if this resonates with you in the comments below. If you chose card two, then you chose Lemurian Waters, which is a beautiful card with beautiful flowers, this beautiful lady in this mirror image here. And she's reaching up, expanding herself and her knowledge, connecting with the divine. So I get a sense of learning here. The guidebook talks about you tuning into Lemurian wisdom, which is very possible that you're already doing that or wanting to do that, in which case you'll probably feel quite a connection to crystals, light, reiki, music, sound, that kind of thing. But I feel like there's some learning going on here. So perhaps there's a course that you're thinking about taking, or maybe you are taking a course already, in which case it's so the right thing for you to be doing. If you're watching this, this is confirmation that you definitely need to be learning this. It's going to be helping your journey. And if you're working in it in a business sense, it's going to be helping your clients. So 100% there's lots of learning going on and it's like re-accessing the codes from that past 
past life reawakening something i'm also getting light language as well coming through and that can be interpreted and received in different ways because for some people that can be actual codes and actual language and for other people that can be accessing the wisdom within a crystal for example and bringing that into a healing capacity for somebody else so i really strongly get this sense of you tuning into this past life wisdom and really learning something not really new that's the wrong word relearning something from your past and bringing it forth again it's like your soul will just connect with it and be like this feels so right to be doing this in which case i'm really excited for you i think there's some really wonderful things that you're getting ready to share with people and it's like a new side of yourself that you're bringing up but it's the old side of yourself as well because <laughs> it's your past life self that you're bringing up so yeah it's a really exciting time actually definitely keep learning keep going with this and if it takes you on to another thing allow that to happen because it's like you need to relearn several things and bring them all together and create your own thing from them if that makes sense so let me know how this resonates with you in the comments below so what do you guys think of this deck i think it's absolutely stunning i am very excited to be using it. i think this will probably become my new favorite because it's just stunning i mean i would expect that anyway from danielle like she never disappoints whether she's collaborating or doing her own thing she just has the most beautiful ethereal energy in all of her work which i love for me it's beautiful so i think this is for somebody who is either new or well experienced with oracle or tarot because it's just one of those decks that you can just tune into really easily you know like we talked about the rose oracle and how it was a bit more you had to like really connect with it and understand the lineage of it whereas with this deck if you like the ocean or if you like past lives or if you like ancient civilizations 100% this is a deck that you're going to enjoy and it doesn't matter if this is your first deck or your 51st deck I, I don't actually know how many I've got so <laughs> <laughs> probably closer to the 51st mark so if you are either either end of those spectrums then 100% this is going to be a beautiful deck to work with and to enjoy and I will of course use these cards in my upcoming astrology readings each month so we have just had Leo season you guys know that we'll be coming up to Virgo and I have the perfect deck for Virgo season so I hope that you've enjoyed this video let me know what you think of this deck in the comments below and I will see you in next week's video clap along if you feel like a room without a roof ah. clap along if you know what happiness is to you hey 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 and you will of course see it do, 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 do. and then on the back we have a couple of design illustrations we have a couple of examples we have a couple of examples of illustrations. Why can't I speak? I received this, I ordered this. Oh, it's here. Nearly picked out the wrong box. 